In our last video, what is After Effects, we explored the amazing software by taking a brief look at its history, talking about a couple of its uses, discussing its price and technical requirements. Today, we fully dive into its uses. If you don't know anything about the software, we recommend you watch that video and then come back for this one. If you don't feel like it, fear not, we got you covered with a brief definition. With that said, let's jump right in. Developed by Adobe Inc, After Effects is mainly a visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing software. In this domain, it is the industry standard. It's used in filmmaking and video games, among other areas. It is available on Windows and Mac OS. The price for it depends on if you subscribe to it standalone or part of the Adobe's Creative Cloud, with more than 20 high-end professional software. The former costs about $21 a month, and the latter costs roughly $53 a month and is considered the better option. Visual effects is also commonly referred to as VFX, and it is basically manipulating a video for it to have something that it didn't originally have using live action footage or CGI, meaning computer generated imagery. For instance, adding an explosion to a field. This is one of After Effects' strong suits. You can create Hollywood grade visual effects in the software that look extremely realistic. Some of these visual effects that you can do in the software include, but are not limited to, adjusting the lights in a scene to give a certain feeling to it. For instance, you can add light coming from a window to give the illusion of early morning or late afternoon, or adjusting the light to make everything look dark and dramatic. This is a game changer, especially in filmmaking, where light can tell a story of its own and set the tone for a scene. This is just one example of what visual effects can be created using After Effects. The software can do plenty of other things, such as adding muzzle flashes, atmosphere effects, and so many more. Motion graphics are the illusion of motion applied on objects. These are not animated in a way where every action is composed of many hand-drawn frames, but rather only an illusion that a static object is actually moving. You might have seen motion graphics used in commercials for small businesses, on websites, as outros and intros of YouTube videos, illustrated explainer videos, or motion graphic elements placed over live action footage. After Effects is one of the leading software in motion graphics creation. Using After Effects, you can animate text, rotate it, make it disappear, float, explode, and evaporate. You can create a collage and add dynamic movement to it for a lively look. You can find this as a divider of sorts between commercial breaks. Or it can even be used to make commercials. Other motion graphics techniques in After Effects include, but are not limited to, creating kinetic typography, making a glitch effect, creating isometric shapes, creating motion graphics with vintage motifs, morphing different shapes to create seamless transitions, and many more techniques. These layers can be separated in depth, and that gets you, helps you create a sense of 3D. You can play with parallax by moving the camera, or you can play with depth of field effects, all because you have these things spaced out in three dimensions inside After Effects. We decided to go ahead and do it in After Effects as a 2D animation using the tools that are inside After Effects. Compositing is the action of adding images or videos on top of another video or image. Think of it as an overlaid collage. It's a lot like adding visual effects, except what you are adding is not an effect or a CGI element, but usually an image or a video. After Effects can do amazing compositing work in filmmaking, TV shows, and video games, and many more. For example, you're shooting a music video and the artist wants an ethereal feel. Using the compositing tools in After Effects, you can add two moons, stars, and other elements for another worldly celestial feel. After Effects also provides you with tools to make the image or video you composited look as a real part of the original video and not look awkwardly overlaid on top. For that purpose, you can use sharpness, grain, saturation, and color tint. This is my uh, character, my male character, and this is his right arm, so it's just that arm that you saw in that drawing. This is um, a tool in After Effects called the Puppet Tool. And basically what I'm doing is just defining the different articulation points, the wrist and the elbow and the shoulder. That creates these little things called pins. Now you can see pins one, two, and three. Once we've done that, 
We just select the hand controller, which is that white null at the top of our timeline, and we can move the arm around, and it moves in a fairly realistic way. Now, we can add limits to this so that it can't bend in the wrong way, although we might, in a cartoon, might want the, the elbow to bend the wrong way for humor. Basically, you have an application like After Effects, and with the tools that come with it, you don't really have a logical way of manipulating a character. What you really want is something like a rig, something that's sort of made for, very much for the purpose of animating characters, so that the animators can do simple things like drag a slider back and forth that goes for, um, you know, one that does a smile, one does a frown, that sort of thing. After Effects is mostly known for the aforementioned uses, but it also has a frame-by-frame -frame animation feature. However, it's not the software's main focus, nor its strongest suit. The software has a timeline, keyframes, and CC wide time as a replacement for onion skinning. That's it for our video about the uses of After Effects. We hope you learned something new from us. Comment below if you think that we've missed something, or if you have any other suggestions. Thank you for watching as always, and see you next time.